Hey, yeah, how's it going, guys? It's uh, been a while since I've done a gym, a gym review. So I want to start off to 2023 with a new one. So I've been here in London. Uh, I want to talk to the guy, uh, Dave Bulldog Beatty, I believe his name is. He's the owner of Genesis Gym Fitness Studio. So I'm excited about this because it's been a long time since I've done a gym review and I, I love bodybuilding gyms. And I just want to check it out, see what it's like, and to see the vibe and just, you know, overall service. So I'm going to go in here, check it out. This is the building here. It's uh, being a bit nosy by looking down here. I believe this is the entrance, but he's letting us go that way. So, uh, yeah. This, doesn't seem like there's a hole up there. But uh, we're going to just step in this way. This is a uh, access for me, I guess, because everyone else goes in that way. So I'm going here, and I'm going to see what this is about. Uh. Yeah. How did you get in the fit, into the fitness business and how did, um, why did you start a gym? Well, initially I started listening to kids. I started at 13 years of age. Right. I lived in a little tiny village mm -hmm. near Bath. Um, and I used to run or cycle to the gym three times a week. It was seven miles there, seven miles home. To all the old country lanes and everything. And that's how I started lifting. I started competing when I was about 14. Doing a bit of Olympic weightlifting and powerlifting, and the thing at the time, almost like CrossFit, it was like uh, it was like superstars, like Brian Jackson used to do that kind of thing. I did that for two or three years, and then at 16, I joined up became a Royal Marine Commando. Um, I served 12 years in the Marines, uh, toured Ireland twice, and went down to the Falklands War when that was on. Um, I left that for me when I was 29 because I broke my spine and pelvis and uh, left there, came back to London, never been to London in my life, really. Uh, started doing various jobs, working in clubs on the doors, deck collector, uh, close protection work, looked after the poor gas for a bit. And you've done a lot with your life. Yeah, Joan Collins, yeah. people like that. Um, and then ended up at Genesis Gym in 96. 1997. Uh, so, had it 20, so 26 years now. Um, went back to PE as a lifter when I turned 40. Okay. Um, we have a lot of my own rehab. Had to be careful what I had to do. Um, ended up winning a few world championships, broke um, a few world records, uh, squatting. Biggest squat was 462 kilos, 1,020 yeah. pounds. Is that what that picture is? That's that cool. was yeah, that was outside. Yeah. That, that was your biggest squat. Yeah, that was my biggest squat. Yeah, yeah, impressed by that. That was when we were looking to quit. Um, <coughs> and then bench 700 pounds, 320. 700 pounds yeah. bench? Yeah, yeah. We quit. And then, uh, and then when over the years lifting has changed, mm -hmm. and where everyone used to compete in equipment. Um, it's changed now, it's become a bit more what I call fast food lifting, where basically anyone can do it, anyone can do it, they don't wear equipment, they wear belt and wraps. What, do you um, call, what kind of lifting do you call that? They, they just, everyone now can, uh, they wear belt, knee wraps, that's about as far as 
but that's as far as it goes. Okay. Um, so it's, it's no more raw lifting. Um, raw lifting never used to be a thing. It was always just part of your training for quick lifting. Okay. Um, it's made it more accessible to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, and I, so that's where the competition was. So I went back raw lifting when I was 53, squatted 380 kilos, 800 just over 820 pounds, something like that. Mm -hmm. Did that when I was 836 pounds. Did that when I was 53. And at the time, it was the biggest over 50 squat in the world. It was also the biggest squat in the UK by anyone of any age group. Um, things have moved on again since then, but records are meant to be broken. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, yeah. <coughs> carried, on running, carried on running Genesis Gym, mm -hmm. and sadly, I've had to have a hip resurface, and I've had two new knees last year. Okay. I've had to get the other hip done. Right. But I'm still training. You're still here. Uh, yeah. Still training, still yeah. Training, yeah. Whether I compete again is not really relevant to me at the moment. Okay. I love coaching. I've got a lot of really good up and coming lifters. Mm -hmm. um, over the years, my lifters have done absolutely superb. You know, we've won seven British Championships, got a lot of world world class lifters from the, from the gym. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, I just love helping people. I love being in the gym. I love seeing people achieve what they believe is impossible. Um, for me, to see a lifter or a bodybuilder who's walked in the gym and thought that they would get nowhere in the sport, breaking their own personal record, often you get more of seeing a lifter break a PR than a lifter breaking a world record because it's it's achievement in themselves. Um, you know, you get a lot of very talented people in this world, uh, which, which, are, which, which are gifted towards strength or uh, building muscle mm -hmm. and then you see the ones that aren't gifted that work a lot harder um, and they would never, they'll never really get to the level of those people that have that gift but the fact that they work hard and they put a lot of effort in and they improve themselves to me is, is, is a big thing. So do, do, do you train people yourself? Train a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. You train yeah. a lot of people here? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it as far as my sort of mm. general career goes. Yeah, quiet, quiet, okay. quiet. Um, now I've got two bulldogs. One's very noisy, mm -hmm. but he is a female. Okay. Uh, yeah, what's, what's, what's her name? That's she's Belle. And this is Blue. Belle and Blue. Blue. Yeah. yeah well, Blue's quite quiet. Blue's very quiet. Yeah. He's, he's been in the gym his whole life. He can drop a 300 kilo deadlift by his head and he won't even wake, wake up. Oh wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I've got. Um, got a son and daughter, mm -hmm. um, got two, two my, well my oldest lad's 30, 34 now, um, I've got a daughter who's 18 who's very gifted um, in sport physically, she's at acting, acting college. Are they both into sport? Just performing arts. Now my lads we adopted, we fostered for, fostered for 10 years, we were partner at the time yeah, and we have I think we had 34 children yeah. in the 10 years, and, and the youngest lad we ended up adopting. Uh, we had him when he was six days old, okay. and then he came to us. And um, after two years, we adopted him, and now he's part of the family. Cool. So, yeah, fairly busy. Very cool, <laughs> yes. So, what, 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 um, what fitness advice would you give to anyone who wants to start out and uh, you know, they, they don't know how to go about it? Fitness advice come to a real gym. Don't go to a chain gym. Chain gyms yeah. are. I get like fast food restaurants. Yeah. I get lots of lots of advice. Eighty-five percent of it will be absolute shit. Okay. Um, come 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 to a gym where people train properly, where people understand how to develop. Um, unfortunately, most people won't do that because this sort of gym. I would say we, you pay forty-five pound a month to come here. A lot of these big chain gyms, you pay twenty pound a month. So people go, oh, we'll go there. They've got thirty treadmills. And, and some weights. Here we've got half a dozen treadmills and a lot of weights. And if that's what you're into, mm -hmm. you, you need to come to this sort of environment, see how, how, how people train, um, learn properly how to do an exercise, um, and you'll get a lot more gains. You'll get a lot more gains. Yeah. Don't feel it's nothing fancy. Mm -hmm. um, gyms, everyone now, a lot of these personal trainers and influencers, Try and invent the wheel when it comes to when it comes to training. Mm -hmm. But training is about effort and graft. 
If you, if you commit yourself to train three to five times a week, you will show progress. If you're training properly, if you have the right advice. Yeah, I agree with that. Not everyone needs a personal trainer. It's good to have one to start with to learn what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, and once you once you've learned, you can uh, you know you can get people to oversee you, you do stuff properly. Mm -hmm. But it's putting the time in. It's it's being committed and it's taking the time out of your day to train. I always say to people, can you not find two hours a day to give yourself even an hour a day? Yeah. Just be in the gym, mm -hmm. Four, train 40 minutes to an hour, go. You don't need to be here for hours and hours and hours. Mm -hmm. um, you just need to come in and work hard. Yeah, it's, there's no excuse, right, not to, not to give There's always an excuses, hour. there's loads of excuses. Well, the whole are, world's full of excuses. It's true, but they, they <laughs> shouldn't be making it. No, there is no reason you can't do it. There's no reason you can't turn up and train. You know, you can sit at home and watch telly for an hour, mm -hmm. you know, you sit on the toilet for an hour, read a book, mm -hmm. or play on your phone. Mm -hmm. um, but come come down and use the gym properly. Get off your phone. Leave your phone in your pocket. Yeah. You know, Just give okay, it a try. Film your workouts, but don't be there texting people. I hate seeing When you're seeing in the middle that. of training, I hate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Really I see it that a lot in the, in the chain yeah. gyms. I've yeah. seen that a lot. You know, reading yeah. magazines and yeah, crap yeah. like that. Yeah. What's that nonsense yeah. about? No, you don't see that here. Yes, you, you do, do. Yeah, you know, you do. You, you, you do? You, yeah, you see people on their phones, but I will. I tend to say we do, you know. Yeah. Um, it, mm. If you film your workout, if you record your workout on your phone, that's fine. I've always said to people I train, is get a diary. Just get a page day diary. Mm -hmm. Write down everything that you do, every, every bit of training you do, or your warm-up sets. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to come in and just flick through it, opposed to going into your phone, getting distracted by a textbook. <laughs> Um, it's it's easy just to get a diary and go, go go through your training like that. Mm -hmm. Really, um, mm -hmm. it's separ yeah. something separates. It keeps you away from your phone. The old, that's an old school way of doing it, tracking your progress. Yeah. The diary, yeah. Which, yeah, which I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Okay, so is, is there any like last advice that you'll give to anyone that's that's thinking about joining the gym, or is there um, like, you know apart from what you've already said? Just do it. Don't put it off. Don't think. What I hear a lot is I can't go to Genesis Gym because everyone's big and strong there. Look around. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of bodies in this gym. Yeah, they are. Um, don't think you're going to go to a chain gym and suddenly progress and become, come to Genesis. You know, come to a hardcore gym like this. There's not many left in this country. There's probably three in London. And three probably, hardcore gyms in London? Yeah, there's, there's probably three hardcore gyms. That's all? Probably, yeah, very few. I mean, the next one to hear would probably be Muscle Works. Yeah, muscle and then might, I think there's one in Tottenham as well, um, Body Works. And that's about it. I don't know any other hardcore gyms. They've gone, they've all gone. Wow. And yet there's probably three or four hundred fitness gyms. Yeah, there's you know? plenty of them. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I always encourage people to come to these yeah, kind of, yeah. you know, bodybuilding. Yeah, this is what I like. There you go. Oi. But yeah, but uh, yeah. yeah, thank you for your time and right. talking to us. I really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'm looking thank, forward to having you back in so, Well, thank you for having me. And yeah. I'll be back down where, here where more. Where are you guys from? What area? Well, he's from Croydon. Oh. I'm from the north. I'm based in the north. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so okay. I, we get around the UK. Oh, yeah. Doing yeah. these videos, doing these yeah. vlogs, so we're gonna yeah. be making a habit of That's good. doing it and trying to get yeah. Yeah. people into these kind of gyms, uh -huh. men and women, yeah. especially yeah. women, because there's not yeah. a lot. So. Well, I mean, the women that come here are committed. That I, I think I see more progress. I see more determination in women than I do. Yeah. Most women will leave everything if they're competing in powerlifting. Mm -hmm. They leave everything on the platform with a lot of guys. And I also yeah. think like the women are really good at personal training. I've seen right? you yeah, with the personal yeah, training. Yeah, 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 they're, they're really good. Yeah. 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 Don't just think it's the guys. Women are they'll give it to you. They'll kill you if they want. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you for okay. um, your time no and worries. stuff. That's all right. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing okay. you again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's it. <laughs>
So uh, Dave over there was telling me that we need to speak to you uh, because you are really like a serious, a serious game Thank and you, you. you could have looked like him. Look at this moment, it's a, a different kind of specimen for real. Thank you. Um, so how did you get into training? How long have you been training for? Actually, I have been training less than three years, okay. but keeping every day consistent and my meals. Okay. So consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the meals that's very important. Yes, and the training. And the training, training, yes, the training program is very important. Right. So this, give me a brief description of how you're eating right now and what you what you're doing. I know you say you're bulking, right? Yes. Uh, actually, I just finished my show um, in the December, okay. and I'm now in an improving season, means bulking season. I'm eating like 2,000 to 3,000 calories a day, mm -hmm. and doing cardio is like six day a week. Six days. Yes, and I only have one three meals a week, and other days I keep my diet yes just like on prep but the calories the carbs are higher fats are more yeah something just a little bit adding more food than I'm on the season yes so would you say it's quite strict yes I prep my I do my meal prep okay. every day I just bring all my meals to work and to drink mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't eat out actually okay. most of the time I just prep my food I cook myself I didn't buy the food outside you, could, you make all the food yourself? Yes, every day. Right, yeah. And that, that probably makes a, a big difference, right? Yes, a lot. So, yeah. so much different. Mm, yeah. Because when you eat out, you didn't know how they cook the food, mm -hmm. what they put in the food. So you need to prep yourself and buy the fresh food from the grocery, from the supermarkets, and you do yourself. That's all the way you can do it. Nice, nice. So des yeah. describe to me like your training regime. What, what, what does a typical week look like for you? What do you mean? Like, like um, you're bulking right now, yes. right? So what are you doing? Like compound moves? Like what are you like heavy squats? And uh, no, I never do because I'm a bikini. Bikini, uh, my category is bikini. bikini. So bikini, we don't really have so much muscles, like very muscular, like the bodybuilders, um, the figures, they need more muscle mass. Okay. But we just like little muscles. But we train hard with a light weight. Yes, I train with lightweight. Train, train with lightweight. Lightweight, yes. Lightweight. Okay. Just a little bit overload, but not mm. really that heavy. I don't do heavy squats. I don't do very heavy lifting. It's just uh, repetition is more, and the set is more, and but the training is really hard. So, what made you decide to try this kind of gym rather than the chain uh, commercial gyms? Oh, because I have had four. Because you are hardcore. I, yes, I love hardcore dream. <laughs> because the commercial dream, uh, the equipment is mm -hmm. not really. It's like uh, for the high street. You know, it's very different. Mm -hmm. The equipment here is like Cybets. It's very good machines mm -hmm. for the um, bodybuilders. Mm -hmm. Their uh, cable is like more. The resistance is more consistency, mm -hmm. and the resistance is like more heavier than the others. Okay. Yes. Yeah, do, do the have angles, yeah, yeah, the angles, the machine's angle is different. Yeah. A little bit angle change can really change the muscle's feeling. Yes, wow. yes, okay. the connection is really depends. Okay. The machine is really matters. Yeah, the type of machine it, is, it does matter. Yes, yeah. exactly. I, I always felt like that. I always do you feel? That. I thought that, yeah, yeah I think yeah, the yeah, machine. Yeah. Makes a difference. Yes, exactly. Because when I've been to the gym, the, the mm -hmm. chain gyms, they're very cheap. Yeah. And it's either like cheap free or to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, I don't, I don't, don't I don't really use like it. No, it, no, right? I don't like it. I only come to these kind of gyms. And I like really? to promote these kind of gyms. Yes. So yeah. Um, so what would you say to other like women that are thinking about maybe getting into bodybuilding like yourself? Um, I used to be a uh, eating disorder uh, yeah. for like 10 years. Okay. I was uh, very fat at the first when I was young. Mm -hmm. Like um, I, do, I do sports. I do a trial front. Mm -hmm. I do a cycling. I do so many sports since I was young, but I still eat so much. I didn't know the diet when I was young, mm -hmm. and then I become very fat. And then uh, I uh, when I get to 20 years old or something, mm -hmm. I want to be more good in shape so I 
try to eat less, mm. but it turns to eating disorder, and I become very skinny, and it's a very it's an illness. So I see the doctors. I just have bones, mm. only bones, no fat. I don't eat. Um, I only I don't eat carbs. I don't eat fat. I only eat the vegetables and becomes a sickness and then um, I start to one day start to go to gym mm. uh, because my brother brought me to a gym to start to do together and then I somebody around um, my friend uh, bodybuilders tell me that I really have to eat enough protein so I can gain muscles because I like the girls like having shapes having the abs mm -hmm. it's really good having the goods very beautiful mm -hmm. so uh, I start to eat um, it's eating clean is let me feel like less guilty mm -hmm. I think so I didn't I like getting away from the eating disorder mm -hmm. and start to be like this now, wow. <laughs> after a few years, yeah. After a few years, wow, yeah, yes. look at the you, so you've gone through quite a few, uh, quite a transformation. Yeah, and last year I was uh, last last year mm. I was pregnant, okay. um, and become you know fat hormones, yeah. and I just after one year I last year I went to Arnold Classic, <laughs> um, got the second place in the pole qualifier, mm -hmm. and also went to the UK regional and got the overall champion, okay. and Netherlands last December and mm -hmm. also got the second place in the pole qualifier yeah. so dream is here and when you just keep your work working hard every day nothing is impossible you can trace your dream anytime you, you, you've <laughs> lost the, the, the baby fat you've lost yeah. the baby weight so that's what you yes. can see so you can see you can do that also yes wow so once you've achieved your bulk what's next after that the next uh, i'm coming this um uh, june mm -hmm. going to the spain olympia you're going to spain yes yeah, spain wow. okay. and uh the year end going to japan japan olympia going to japan after yes that. Wow. okay well, <laughs> because you, um you know I... about japan don't you <laughs> yeah cool yeah, yeah, because yeah, I just yeah. came from Hong Kong um, okay. half a year ago, mm. just moved to UK. So when I came to a lot of shows here, I was the only Asian. Okay. <laughs> Actually, the genetic is a little bit behind right. other girls because yeah, yeah. I, luckily, I'm really tall in Asians, so yeah. I can still get on a place. Yeah. Do you stand up when you're in Asia? Hmm? Do you stand out like the people really notice you because you look different? Yes, yes, I think so. Mm. <laughs> I would think so too. Everyone is brown hair, but I just black. Wow. Yeah, wow. black hair, black eyes. Mm. It's quite different. Wow. Okay, that's great. Well, yeah, well, uh, yeah, thank you for talking to us. Is there, is there like any like last advice that you give to anyone that would, wants to get into training but they don't know how? Like anyone who's scared, what would you say to them? Mm, I suppose you already um, get to the habit and find yourself a coach, a really a good one you can mm -hmm. trust and really can help you out. Mm -hmm. So they can give you a guidance, mm -hmm. give you a guide, let you know what to do uh, instead of just watching the videos on the YouTube because it's difficult to tell because everyone at the conditions, uh, when you start, the condition is different and everyone genetic um, and your reactions mm -hmm. to the body reaction to the foot, uh, everyone is different. Mm -hmm. So you have to find a good coach to mm -hmm. let you know what to eat and keep it, keep your work every day. Don't give up. Don't give up. Okay, so you yes. recommend that they get a coach mm -hmm. to hold them accountable for it. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Okay. That's good. <laughs> That's great. Well, thank you for your time. You. Really do appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So there you go. There you have it. See, if you stay consistent, as I keep saying, you could look like this yes. if you like. It's achievable. Look. Look, look how good she looks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Look at this. I ain't gonna really bother trying to lift that. It's just no you point. I mean? I mean, he needs a strap. So even if I put a strap on, I'm not gonna be able to lift it. What difference will it make? That a big man. So that was interesting, huh? Enjoy that gym experience. It's just a nice feel to be back in there. It's been so long, as you guys know. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, at the bit of a workout, you saw how little I did. I was generally checking them out. I just wanted to see how they worked out. And they inspired me to get back into it. 
Uh, so yeah, this has been a good experience. This is Genesis Gym again. Great to talk to, to Dave. Loved it. And the ladies in there, like I said, the ladies do give these kind of gyms a try. I know you're kind of intimidated by it, but you can see that it's really not that intimidating. Everybody's supportive. Come and try it. And uh, you, I, I think you'll thank yourself for it. So uh, I'm going to go and get something to eat now. So I have somewhere in mind. I'm going to I'm gonna get ready and get going now because I'm hungry and I've seen the menu. So I thought I'd go.